I, I just need 10 seconds to set it up. Check it. The voice Check okay? It. Voice is okay? Thank you. Thank you. Roll. Mr. Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav, welcome to Brood. Thank you. Can you simplify semiconductors for us today? Like a, a potato is cut into small fine slices to make wafers, chip of this size and complexity will be having something like 70-80 kilometers of firing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ashwini Vaishnav recording this interview for, for Brood. Can I get a wafer? Yeah, thank you. See, the chip industry starts with something called a wafer. Like a, a potato is cut into small fine slices to make wafers, silicon, large logs made of silicon, they are cut into slices to make a wafer like this. On the wafer, chips have to be etched. So, like suppose you take the case of, let's say, silver work or gold work. Very fine work has to be done on gold. Or let's say, do let's take the case of a very fine, very fine painting. So, similarly, using very fine things like plasma and laser, those kind of things, chips are designed on the top of the wafer. Then again, using a very complex process, each of the chip is taken out of the wafer. Then this needs a body because there is a lot of power supply, a lot of wiring has to be done. That body and the power supply, the strength has to be given by a different process. I'll show you. Can I have this? Now, this is the chip, right? This chip will be having something which was taken out of this wafer. From the wafer, very small little tiny thing is taken out. Then it is given a complete body. Sometimes you would, you would be surprised, a chip of this size will be having kilometers of wiring in it. It's like a five or six story building, right? Five or sto Imagine a five, uh, five story building or a ten story building. That uh, ten story building will have multiple connections, staircase, lift going up and down. Right? Then uh, electricity, plumbing. This particular chip will be having about five floors of chip inside it. Most of this will be produced in India. Okay, semiconductors are being made in India. Now what's in it for me? You know, what is it going to do for me? Let's say it's a, you know, a boy sitting in Kashmir playing any video game. For example, mobile phones, laptops, iPads, other tablets, train sets, automobiles, cars, wherever chips are used, today they are imported. So now when we make them in India, the cost will be lower. So the youth will get more opportunities now. Once you have the semiconductor industry, you can feed into downstream industries like electronics, like telecom equipment, like your automobile industry gets activated, like your train set manufacturing gets activated. All those industries get the benefit of having a semiconductor industry in the country. Uh, so jobs are, jobs will be created in all those sectors. Union Minister Jay Shankar had also said this is of strategic importance. How soon you know uh, can we position ourselves as an alternative to China? Listen, this industry is going to grow rapidly. Today it is about 650 billion dollars globally I'm saying. Coming six years, seven years, this industry will double more than a trillion dollars. That's the kind of growth which is happening in this industry. And this is absolutely the right time for India to capture a large part of this industry. And the world today trusts India. Our foreign policy is trusted today. The way we conduct ourselves in the world, it is trusted today. We are a large democracy. We have a very open and transparent policy structure. So the world wants to come and manufacture here. So I can clearly see that in the coming five years, India will emerge as a major semiconductor manufacturer and a very important trusted partner for large parts of the world.